Hello everyone, welcome to QAautomated.com. This is Anujat. Today in this video, we are going to learn about JMeter scoping rules and how the execution order uh, is achieved in JMeter and how you can define the way you want to uh, expect your execution order to be. So uh, let's get, in, get started with this example. In this example, I have added uh, multiple config elements. Then there are three thread groups and uh, samplers and p processors and as listeners and everything. So uh, let us uh, see first how the execution order of any test case or test plan is uh, conducted in JMeter. So these are the key points to remember how the execution order is planned. First preference is given to config elements. All the configuration related elements right CSV config, uh, request defaults, header manager. All these are given first preference. Then comes preprocessors. So for any samplers or if there are any preprocessor added to the sampler or in a thread group then those will be executed. Then the preference will be given to timers. So after what time the sampler should be executed then comes sampler then post processors post processors defined activities after the sampler execution is done then comes assertions if we have added any kind of assertions so, so those will be executed and lastly listeners will be executed and we will get our final results so this is very important however you define uh, the order here or if you define the uh, config element in the thread group or outside the thread group or in, in this thread group but the order of execution will be like this in JMeter. okay so next let's see how is the scoping rules so for example uh, first start first start with the sampler so uh, the sampler is always added inside a thread group but all other elements can be added if outside the thread group inside just test plan or anywhere else so well in this case how the order is defined okay so you can see http header manager here and http header manager can be added in uh, uh, inside a particular uh, request sampler request as well so when the header manager is added here the scope of this header manager is limited to only this request that means these things are applicable only for this sampler but when it is added here outside the thread group inside a test plan that means its scope is entire test plan so this is added to all the request all the sampler request here uh, similarly it's applicable to timer if the timer is added here that means it's applicable for every every sampler request but if the timer is added inside the thread group it is applicable for the sampler inside this particular thread group that means this timer is added before the sampler execution okay so if the listener is added inside a thread group that means so any sampler request inside this thread group will be covered for this report and not the rest of the samplers but if the sam uh, if the listener is added in the end in the test plan that means uh, all the requests will be displayed through this listener and captured through this listener so uh, these are some of the important scoping rules so uh, let's run this example and see how it works see see you can see there is some delay added uh, here because there is a random timer before tg2 so that is that is added here then uh, if we see this uh, okay so if it is this simple controller is uh, applicable for these three sampler and uh, there is a preprocessor added inside the controller okay that means that preprocessor is response uh, uh, it's to be executed before these three request and there is a post processor also added here that that is outside the sampler so that means it is also applicable after this 
after this particular thread uh, sorry it is outside the sampler but it is inside this thread group that means it is applicable for all this request so you can see the behavior here when you execute you can try this out uh, if you have any questions regarding scoping and execution order any feedback any suggestion you can write in the comment section below thank you for watching this video bye bye